welcome once again on Pauvin TV. You know, we began a new series this week. And in the first episode, we talked about spirituality. How in the new year we can set our rhythm straight, we can set our resolutions on a daily basis and make sure we achieve or we put ourselves on the right spiritual path and achieve growth in terms of prosperity and the spiritual growth itself. Now in part one of this episode or of this series, we talked about how we can use meditation, how we can use herbs to cleanse ourselves and ward off that we are trapped on a daily basis and the sun and the moon rad radiation. If you haven't watched the part one, I think you have to watch it because there's so much information in there about how the moon and the sun come together to form or to let seed germinate and stuff. Now let's just come back to the part two. You know, now I want Tofesau to give us more information as to how we can live our spiritual life on a daily basis and attain the highest self that we all seek. Toto, once Hello. again, our welcome is still given. So, on this episode, we want more prescriptions towards the first one that you've already given. So, aside the very first one that you mentioned, the very three prescriptions, what more can we do to set our rhythm right and make our spiritual path perfect for the new year? Well, uh, spirituality, spirituality. And on being on a personal reading. Okay. Uh, in the previous teachings, we did talk about certain things, and well, there are other things that we can still do to regulate our 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 self, our spiritual self. Uh, we also have what we call uh, fun divinations. A fan divination is a system that can help you let us assume that uh, you, you have come to a point where you are kind of confused. You cannot fathom or understand what actually is you are going through. So you need to do a fan divination so that it can help you for you to know exactly what is wrong with you. For you to, this can even give you information if your problem is coming from you touching an element of water or whatever this can even give you a direct indication that this is the cause of the problem or what you are going through is because of this thing you did in the past is the reason why you are you know having these challenges so yes we can do a fan divination when we want to talk about fan divination it is very simple let us assume that uh, as we were saying that Every day we attract a lot of debt. So as we keep compiling this debt, at the end of the day, it becomes too many. And when we begin to sit on us, I mean, sitting on us means that it's going to make our body, our will become very heavy. And once it becomes very heavy, it disturbs the soul, the loso. We call it loso. The soul within us becomes very Steam it. it the, the soul will become very squeezed and is it is not going to have free movement within you know human soul actually is it's not a spirit but it is a fire energy you understand it is a fire energy so it is that fire energy when it leaves the body then we are dead so the fire energy within us the oxygen that we are breathing in and out is used to fan that fire for for the fire to you know the flame to go higher so once the flame is you know diminishing is reducing in strength meaning your fire is getting to stop and then you will die now once we keep attracting death and you come close to a fan you want to know exactly what is wrong with you a fire is going to first what we do is that you are going to speak on if it is money you speak on the money or you take calories or whatever you speak on it then when you come to us, Boko, what we do is that you speak on this quietly. You can even choose to speak on it from your house. Then when you come, you only drop it on the mat. Then the Boko will divine for you. The code that come, if it is about, if your problem or the issue you are going through is coming from fire element, water element, earth element, or 
uh, air element, the uh, fan divination will bring it out direct. Then it will also give you solutions what and what you need to do for you to be free from the bondage. A fan is going to you know spell it out for you. So yes, we have a fan divination. It is there since the beginning of time, and it is a good system that we can use when our mind cannot be able to understand certain dimensions certain things we have to fall on a fan to be able to shape and put us on a good rhythm so that our day-to-day -day activities can, can can go on well okay a fan divination is it the same that the, the nigerians call ifa well yes it is the same thing okay okay now so does it mean that we have to be doing the Efa divination on daily basis every day? No. If you do Efa divination today, mm -hmm. it has to take you after 16 or 17 days before you can be able to do another divination. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Some of us don't know. The priest, we go to them all the time. They take our money and then we do it, oh, no. do it for us all the time. If you, if I, 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 I did divination for you today, if you come the next three days, I will not do it for you again. The reason is that, the reason is that, you see, Efa is going to bring out all the secrets, all your problems. It will bring it out for you. And once it brings out these problems for you, it's going to give you the solutions, what you can do to solve these problems. So what you need to do is to gather the necessary things that you need to use to solve the problems. If you don't solve that same problem and you leave it, another day has come, another death has added to what you understand. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if you do divination for you today, it takes 16, 17 days before you can do another divination. So, you have within 17 days for you to be able to gather money or whatever. If it is help that you have to go out and look and bath with it, you have the duration is 16, 17 days for you to gather those herbs then you go through it but if you fail after the 16 17 days then you can be able to do another reading okay yeah okay so if you fail okay after 17 days when you come what if after 17 days you come with the the needed materials to do whatever you had to do on the 17 day yes they can still what, what about you can go through the days? after the 17 day in actual sense there has to be another reading Oh. There has to be another reading for you because that means they have to divine again. The code that came will only take you up to 16, 17 days. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if, if the days exceeded 17 days, it means that there has to be another thing added to. Does it mean that the current state, um, uh, the divination system cannot? Uh, forecast beyond 17 days as in let's say I want to know how my whole year will go can't I come and do one divination for it to tell me my whole year you can get one divination today being 1st January 2023 mm -hmm. if you do divination today to check how the year will take you what I'm saying is that the divination that we do today will give you a free period of 16 17 days for you to be able to gather the necessary things and do what you needed to do so it can take you for the whole year but don't forget that every day as you are going even if you do the necessary things every day you are going out you are still attracting death okay so it doesn't mean that okay if today you have done the necessary things then it can take you up to the 12th month it is not like that because yourself even let us dream that today you have come i have divine for you and the necessary things we have taken we have taken you through the necessary thing and you have done your spiritual bath and everything and you are free my brother leaving my house going back to your house you started seeing a lot of things but at that moment it's not going to the effect is not going to be like somebody who is a fresh date exactly so now you have gone to the spiritual bathing anything that you are going to be seeing touching the bath that you have taken will be fighting those things not to come close to you but the more you are getting yourself close to death the more you are suppressing your spiritual strength 
you understand so if you say you have done your necessary thing today and you have to take you up to the whole year it is not done like that yeah, what you are saying is it tells me that cleansing is very 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 important it is life. very important it is very in fact it is the one thing that we don't know that has been giving us a lot of problem we say our businesses are not growing our children school they are not kind of being smart in school the, the major one is our health wise cleansing can make someone smart in school Oh, very sure. You can make someone not get sick. Do you know what our brain is made up of? Whoa. It controls all the senses. So anything that you see affects the brain. Anything you listen to affects the brain. Anything you eat affects the brain. Things you touch affect the brain. So if these things can affect your brain, then it means that you always have to be doing cleansing. Always have to be doing cleansing. Wow, I didn't know all this. And I guess you also didn't know either. So, I have done some good job for you now. You have to subscribe to my channel. Like this video and share to someone who you think about and who you love to also come and learn something from here. We have to cleanse all the time. Now, Toto, aside the various ones that you've mentioned, I want you to give us one last other option that we, we we should be doing often like cleansing so that our spiritual path will be set straight for our new year resolutions to be fulfilled well uh, what i can say is that in as much as we have other kinds of spiritual cleansing one important thing that we need to know is ancestral connection how to day in day out how to get familiar how to get close with our ancestors through pouring libations is very important because you know everybody came from a certain family lineage and that lineage is attached to you whether you like it or not you cannot take yourself out of that family lineage today we have a lot of issues where people turn their back against their own home my brother they are worrying themselves because the genetic of who they are cannot be taken out from the family lineage so what they needed to do is to have that respect for the ancestral lineage so there are libations that we can follow so that we can also ask our ancestors our lineage to also guide us it's very important you know there are let me let me say this it can even be a topic that we can treat one of the days ahead our ancient fathers always have been fighting certain forces of nature in fact they don't fight what well, some people call abun sam or satan those it doesn't exist there is no satan in our spirituality when we say abun sam is things about nature that you have to understand to perfect your life with now there are distractions of nature. Nature has its own destructive forces, like tsunami, earthquake, and all of that. There are a whole lot of forces moving on this planet that, if you are not careful, you can destroy yourself when you meet you meet any of these energies. So our ancient fathers also, in their wisdom, they they knew that there are certain energies around that originate with the universe that if you don't know you get trapped with these energies you'll be destroyed so our ancient fathers were also fighting these energies the reason why there are rules and regulations there are laws that we have to respect you know when our ancient fathers even when at the time they were coming to the body form they were saying that the laws of creation need to be respected so they are coming to wear body and live as women in this universe and they know they were aware from that instant that the laws of creation as they are coming to be women living here they have to respect them whether these laws are going to be in our favor or not we have to respect the laws so once we keep respecting the cosmic laws my brother we are going to be shaped very well even for it's going to be difficult for death to touch you because you are respecting the cosmic teachings the cosmic law. so these things today they are no more there we are all suffering because in abundance of water 
we are still tasty. Why? The knowledge is still with us, but we cannot understand it. We can't comprehend. The knowledge is still with us, but we can't understand it. We can't comprehend. It's only because you and I have turned our backs on our ancestry, on our lineages, on our history as black people. That's why we are having all these issues. And that's why Porvin, I've put it on myself to go to priests, high priests and spiritualists to tap from them the seed of knowledge that we all need to be able to generate in this life and grow to the higher self. And you are not doing me well. You know why? Because you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Can you subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it across board. Let every black person on this continent and beyond wake up and realize that we have something good back home. We should come for it. All right. I think we have learned enough from our high priest today. Let me not take so much from him and exhaust him. He has other businesses to go and take care of. <laughs> I'll plead that we give him the last chance to give you his last words for me to draw the curtains down. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe. Toto, I'll go. your last words. Well, as I was saying, uh, ancestral connection, labation pouring is very important. It is always important for you to evoke your lineage because that essence of life energy going through the family lineage you have to awaken it you have to make it available you have to you have to feel it that energy being activated in you alone can help you solve a lot of external forces so it is also part of spiritual cleansing there are a whole lot of you know every family there is a spiritual stool or the ancestral stool and that ancestral stool is having sacred sound formula that was used to establish the family upon so those things there are for the benefit of our own self why don't we come close and uh, understand these things rather than running away from them thinking that they are evil they are devilly they are satanic they are that they... see there is no parent that will want to create something that will wipe out his generations. There is no, in the African continent, nobody can do that. So let us all come together and rethink, understand that our ancient teachings, they are the best things that have ever happened to this universe. So let us awaken ourselves to our spiritual potential so that we can overcome these external forces, so we can go through life in peace surely with my channel you shall overcome meanwhile we have learned so much in this series as i'm drawing the questions let me remind you of the things that we have learned so far in the episode one i mean part one we learned that we can do meditation to cleanse ourselves we can also use herbs to cleanse the depth that we attract on daily basis as we have set us uh, we have set ourselves on course for the new year also, the third one that we learned about is the sun in the moon radiations. How we can tap from them and meditate during those hours. If you're a female, you meditate better at night. If you're a male, you meditate better at noon time. Also, in this second episode, we've learned about pouring libation to our ancestors, our forefathers, our forebears, and honoring our family tools. We also learned about one most important thing, which is Ifa divination. You have to know the forecast of your life ahead of you for the month, for the year, and know what is in store for me by the creative energies and nature. If it, it will be good, you are happy. If it won't be good, what must we do for it to be good? We thank to Tusao so much. I am your humble host, as always, Corbin. I'm happy to be with you and serve you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>